Today we're going to be showing how to DoorDash and do shipped at the same time. A little bit of what they like to call double apping. So how double apping works is I'll start DoorDash and the shipped app at the same time at my house. And the first thing we got was this McDonald's pickup that we're going to take right now. Money choose me. Thank you very much. Right after we picked up the McDonald's order, a shipped order came in from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., which is perfect. We have plenty of time to do that. I checked the ship app to make sure what the time estimates were, and I know it's going to be a really short run, but I still pause my DoorDash while I'm shopping. There was only a few items on this list, mostly coffee and soda pop, so it really didn't take me long to shop the entire order and then get ready to go. I'd say maybe about 15 minutes tops. I'm making a YouTube video. Did you want to be in it? Absolutely. Okay. I figured I should get his permission since he had no idea he was being recorded with my new Meta glasses. Anyway, while I'm unloading the groceries into my car, we got this next one picking up at Chick-fil-A. And this is great because Chick-fil-A is on the way where this delivery is going. You're welcome. You have a good day. Arto is the name. Thank you very much. You bet. Have a good day. That restaurant requires us to confirm the order on each pickup. It's not a big deal to me. I know some people don't like having to do it, but it's no big deal. I don't like the new DoorDash payout screen. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Anyway, now we're gonna drop off that shift order. I've been keeping the customer updated on my progress, just in case they worry. My dash ended, so I had to restart my dash. And also watch out for this. Remember to always yield for emergency vehicles, especially at intersections, whether they're behind you or in front of you. Now picking up at McDonald's. Thank you very much. You have, have a good day. day. See ya. It was unfortunate that shipped was kind of slow today, but DoorDash was actually very busy, so we just kept running DoorDash orders. This next one is a real long delivery, but I like Sonic and I like these long deliveries anyway. Hi, I've got a DoorDash for the name is Amrit. Oh, I got you, baby. Uh, we're working on her uh, mozzarella right now, so it'll be just another moment. Sounds good, thanks. Thank you very much. So the reason I don't mind the long deliveries is I'm doing earn by time. So I'm getting paid an hourly rate the whole time that I've got the delivery. So that last run kind of concluded for me that DoorDash is up to something with these time estimates. This one I just dropped off, we did it 20 to 30 minutes faster than what DoorDash estimated the time is. It seems like they are inflating the time that it's gonna to take to make the delivery. So I'm gonna put all these into a spreadsheet. We'll take a look at it later. Now, there's only one Chick-fil-A in my zone and I never have any trouble with it, but I had some issues today. Kelly. That's the manager of the catering area. She keeps everything in line and keeps the door dashes moving. One of those two bags is my order. It's being brought over so that the person can seal up the bag, put the necessary drinks with it, and just do a quality check. But watch what happens after she gets the bags ready and all is set and done. That's right, she just walks away. I'm standing right there and my orders are right there and I don't get them. Fortunately, Kelly. So here's another one. Uh, we just got it from Chick-fil-A and it looks like I'm going to be about 25 minutes early for the delivery. That can't just be bad GPS. Something's got to be going on the amount of time that they're saying it's going to take.
right, so like I said, it's unfortunate that we didn't get a lot of shipped orders, mostly DoorDash, but the general idea is just run both the apps at the same time. And with Shipped or Instacart or something like that, you have scheduled delivery blocks, and DoorDash is more of an on-demand. So it's easy to work the two together. But more importantly, we get some real inter interesting information from uh, looking at these last runs that we did with uh, DoorDash. So I just want to run through them here real quick. So if you look at the last two runs, that Sonic and Chick-fil-A, you can see that the amount of time DoorDash said it would take was 50 and 48 minutes, respectively. But that was an inflation of almost 24 minutes from what it actually took to run. And you see, when they inflate that time, you might think to yourself, because of the distance, that you're making 96 or 95 cents per mile. But in all actuality, I paid like about 50 cents a mile on each one of those. I included the tips so you could see that even if you're running earned by time, you do actually get tips. They're not all bad runs. So anyway, thanks for watching. Oh, and I should probably just put up what we made for the day. So I'll pop that in here as well, right up here. And by the way, if you're interested in doing DoorDash or Shift, I have instructional videos on both of them. I'll put little clickable squares over here somewhere, or maybe they're gonna end up being over here, we'll see. Uh, click on those videos and it will explain actually how to do DoorDash and how to do Shift. Thanks for watching, Psychic Payout.